All right, y'all. So it is August 5th, 39 weeks and five days. I had a doctor's appointment just now and, you know, routine, whatever. Wasn't my normal doctor and she comes in to check the heart rate. They have me lay back and when I lay back, my stomach always like lumps up, but I have fibroids. I've said this before. And I was like, yeah, he's just probably under a fibroid. You know, that's why it looks like that. She was like, mm, let me just do an ultrasound. Do an ultrasound. And she's like, you know, looking and putting more oil, grease or whatever the stuff is on there. And I'm like, you know, what's taking so long? She's like, yeah, so his head's up here, like at the top. Y'all, this baby is breech. What the freaking freak, okay? My last ultrasound at 36 weeks, the girl was like, oh, his head is so low in your pelvis that I can't even get a picture of his face. Like, he was head down, ready to go at my last ultrasound. Mind you, that was four weeks ago. So, she's like, okay, so your options are you have a C-section or we try to rotate him. And if he rotates, then you can get induced. And I was like, okay, so when do we do that? She was like, now. I'm like, okay, like, mind you, I had a nail, a nail appointment at 1045. It's 1030. <laughs> That is not important. I'm not saying that it is, but that was just like my plan for the day. Like I was getting my polish changed because I don't want it blue anymore. And I didn't want my nails blue when I delivered. I was like, so I can't go to the nail salon? She was like, no. Because basically had they known he was breech, they would have tried to rotate him at 36 to 37 weeks because he would have been smaller. But, and then had they also known that he didn't rotate, they would have scheduled me for a C-section at 39 weeks. But because I'm basically 40 weeks, she's like, you know, we're just going to, you just go to the hospital and then if we can rotate him you'll be ready for an induction we'll just induce you if we can't rotate him then you're gonna have to have a c-section and he'll be out in a couple of minutes and I'm like I'm really motivated to have a vaginal birth like I really don't want to have to have a c-section and she's like well the doctor probably will you know keep trying um, it is a lot of pressure there's only a 60% chance that he actually will rotate and I'm worried about like you know is there any detriment to him y'all manipulating my stomach and she said well sometimes the umbilical cord could entangle but that normally happens like days after but you don't you really shouldn't have to worry about that because you're staying at the hospital and then um like heart rate and stuff but she said you'll be hooked up to a monitor and you know they'll be able to monitor that and if something happens like if baby is in distress like you're already in the operating room the doctor can just do a c-section he will be out in like four minutes like it's not a big deal i'm just like okay so yeah, I am headed to the hospital. Um, I just left my... So the doctors that I see are at a different location than where I'm delivering. And I haven't even eaten today. So I stopped at Panera to get a yogurt. I just ate a yogurt. But I'm heading to the hospital now. Malcolm's going to Uber and meet me there. Because he was home with River. And um, I think his mom is heading to our house to keep River. I don't even have my baby bag. Like, I just wasn't prepared. But I'm so happy that I shaved my legs this morning. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, y'all. Um, at least I shaved my legs, but if we just gonna pray, everybody's gonna touch an agreement that this is gonna be fine. Baby boy is gonna flip. Mommy's gonna get to have a healthy vaginal birth. And even if I don't, that everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. Like, I'm trying to remove doubt, fear, worry, because that's just not in line with faith. You know, I have faith that this is gonna work out. Baby girl, where you going? Where you going? I'm over here trying to have my faith conversation and you blocking the freaking roadway. Y'all see her ugly. So yeah, I have faith that this is gonna be just fine. Like I'm, I'm going in here with a positive attitude. They did tell me that because they're doing the rotation in the f operating room, my mom can't be there, only one person. So it will be Malcolm, but I'm just nervous about like how that's gonna feel. Like, oh, I'm a little nervous about that. How is this baby breached? Okay. I'm gonna do my best to check back in. Like I was like, let me hurry up and record now because I have no clue how this is gonna work. I know for a fact that they're not gonna let me record in the operating room, like while they're rotating and stuff. So if he can be rotated and I can be sent to labor and delivery, then I'll be sent like to a room and I can, you know, update you guys there. But I just don't know what's gonna happen. So I will check back in with y'all later. Alright, so I am checked in to Liberate Delivery, waiting on a room. I'm by myself. This is the same waiting room I was in when I was waiting with Poosh. Um, Malcolm's opening up. And uh, so I'll just check back in when I get in the room. This is my pre op room. I don't get a labor room, labor and delivery room yet. 
um, I'm waiting on the nurse to tell me because I have to go to the operating room to get him rotated. So, and nobody's here yet. My mom is close and then Malcolm's still at the house waiting on an Uber. But I'm not going in there by myself. I need somebody here, so we'll see. It's getting very real right now. Y'all can't see my face. <laughs> All right, little boy, look at that. Coming on out today. So I don't have my tripod, but I'm having to get changed. And they actually might rotate me here, she said. Most of the time they do it in the pre-op room, but she has to ask the doctor if she wants me to move to operating. I can't bend over, I can't get my leg up. I had to take off my jewelry and um, my clothes. So, that is what I'm doing. Alright, so I am all changed and still in the pre-op room. Um, they're about to do an IV. I have to be prepped for a C-section, like just in case he can't be rotated. They just need to be able to take me straight to OR. Malcolm's about 10 minutes away. My mom is in the lobby, but because I'm not labor and delivery, my mom can't come back because I'm considered pre-op, so I can only have one visitor. If y'all hear that, that's y'all cyber nephew kicking and bumping. I am um, being monitored. And this little heartbeat that y'all hear. I hate IVs and needles, but um, I gotta do what I gotta do. Is my camera fuzzy? Okay, that looks better. All right. Here we go. We in the pre-op room. Uh, Kim has her IV. It hurts. It hurts. She got a ball of tissue on her belly. They had to, they did this our first and it hurts so bad I was crying. The anesthesiologist just left and since I had a smoothie and that them two bites of yogurt, they might have to wait before I can do the flip. Like six to eight hours and I'm not. Well they said it could do it. I hope it's just a it's just not an emergency. Yeah. But I'm hungry. So can I eat and then we start the clock? Cause I'm hungry. It would have been better, but either way. I don't know about that. Waiting for them to come back and tell us what the doctor wants to do because otherwise we'll just be sitting here. So yeah, I guess we'll check in later. You like a lunch lady with that blue net. I need to, I'm gonna put my bonnet on and then put this on. Oh my, oh my arm hurts. All right, y'all, we'll check back in another time. Y'all hear him crunching, right? They see my mask moving. That man ate a whole Chick-fil-A meal. Sandwich and fries. Sour Patch Kids. He ate peanut M&Ms, my favorite candy. He know I can't eat and I'm starving. It's not personal, though. You, but I just went to the bathroom. He could have ate when I was gone. It's not personal. Either way, we're about to get the spinal tap so they can try to do the rotation. Is that them? No, it's not like going to the other bed. Try to get the baby flipped head down. And if they're unsuccessful, then we have to do the C-section. If they are successful, it is likely that I'll be going home. Or... The doctor can finagle the bagel and make it happen. <laughs> There's not enough like space to do elective induction, so I have to see how it works out. Yeah. We hoping for the best. Okay, bring it. All right. Okay, bring in a pre-op. All right, then. Uh, Later. Open All right, real quick. So the baby is actually sideways face down which is good better than sitting straight up so you can see he's like this his head's over here his feet is over here and he's looking down at the ground so they said you only got to turn him 90 degrees versus the full 180 and uh 
Is that 90? Yeah. 90. Yeah, 95, so she said like that. Yeah. So, uh, anesthesia's ready to move forward. Oh, anesthesia's ready to move forward. You got something to say? This is just a bad angle. Oh. So you go like this. Little boy. You ain't about to do nothing. Mommy ain't about to do nothing. It's me you gotta worry right, about, little man. Oh, God. He ain't gonna do nothing Give her either. a call, okay? All right, we'll try to check in later. This ain't doing nothing. This is... It is. It's covering your hairline. This ain't achieving the goal. Ouch. Babe, it's no more ice in that place. It's not. But it's, it's one of the better scenarios for what what's happening. Um, Let me just look. So, I, I, yeah. It's been hot running these days. <laughs> Any, anything else? Okay, okay, okay. So some good news. Um, she's uncomfortable and itchy. They did the spinal tap, and um, so I did feel that first needle go in, and then they like they did the um another ultrasound. They just, mind you, they just did an ultrasound like, what, 45 minutes ago? And he was that. across. Sideways. Sideways. And they did another ultrasound where they started. All the doctors are in here. And he's head down. So now he's head down. And they had to basically strap my stomach in with like three different belly bands to keep him there. And the doctor stripped my membranes. Or my membrane. And then... I'm three centimeters at a negative two, so I'm still very thick, like my cervix is still thick. So they're skipping a Foley balloon because she thinks that if they put a balloon up there, he's going to move again. And then I want him to flip over because he keeps doing somersaults. So she's going straight to Pitocin. I didn't have that last time and Pitocin is no joke. It makes your contractions pop off really bad, so. Not excited about that, but we are getting ready to move to a room and we will not be getting sent home. So that's good. We gonna have a baby today. I'm looking at the screen instead of the camera. We gonna have a baby today. Baby boy with no name. Uh, he got a middle name, my name. Mm. Oh, and I'm itching. The medicine is making me itch, but I can't scratch. So, and I'm very, very, very hungry. Let me take this off. This ain't doing. It's just sitting on top of your head. I'm so hungry. Don't. don't look at me. <laughs> I just, I just want some Chick Fil A, a pizza, or cheeseburger, or some. You want a hospital burger? No, I want Slutty Vegan. Free promo. Their burgers are good though. Uh huh. And I want my champagne. I des, I deserve. We just gotta get that ice popped off. I get this baby popped off. Yeah, that too. Okay, we'll check in when we move to the room. Yep, it's happening. Bye, y'all. Say hi. Why it ain't zooming? Oh, there it is. Get all that Chick Fil A in there. This is last meal. He better enjoy that chicken in them fries and that Polynesian sauce and Chick Fil A sauce and sweet tea. <laughs> Say hey, ma. Hey, waiting on baby boy's arrival. <laughs> oh, it's what time is it? Six forty. All right, so it's nine thirty. Kimberly's starting pitocin. Uh, baby boy is still head down, and we're gonna go ahead and induce and get an epidural and start the labor. I'm gonna flip it around. You see? Don't she look so happy? 
The next thing I'm going to place on your finger is called a post op. It's going to keep up with your oxygen levels, okay? And that is for your epidural. You got anything for the people? My back hurts. <laughs> I got something to say. That's all. Those are probably labor pains. <laughs> yeah, so moving right along. And we don't know if he's gonna make it on the fifth. He might be on the he might be on the sixth. We'll see. But he is gonna be an active little boy. We can tell already. Y'all pray for our energy levels. Alright. Hey. It is 10 15. Just did the epidural. Did we talk about epitosis last time? Yeah. Just did the epidural, but I can still like wiggle my toes and feel my legs, so I don't know if it's like a completely numbing one. I can't have anything else to drink and I didn't know that because I'm thirsty. But they bought me some ice. You can't see it past your belly okay. though. What, my back? <laughs> not, I'm like not comfortable because I'm laying flat and the baby is like I can't breathe. My back is still hurting from where they put the thing in my back earlier. It's hot in here, but we're blessed. The baby should still be head down. I think his heart rate is good, right? Ooh. But yeah, just laying here. I have not felt, I don't think I felt contractions yet. All I felt is my back hurting. But when I had River, I, I felt something different when I was having contractions. It felt like I felt it down here. So I haven't felt it yet. But now that I have the epidural, hopefully I won't feel them at all. So, that's all. All right. Next up is getting my water broken. Mm -hmm. doctor. We probably won't be able to record while they're doing that. But we'll update afterwards. All right, you got anything for this for this segment? No, we're still patiently waiting for baby boy's arrival. <laughs> Everything's good to go. He, he running out of time on the fifth, so he might be <laughs> he might be here on the sixth, but he running he running a little low on time for August fifth. All right, we'll see y'all later. So the time is 2.10 a.m. Uh, August the 6th. We are about to have the team break um, Kim's uh, water. So they're about to do that now. And the baby is still head down, so everything's still looking safe. Um, I won't flip the camera around, but um, the baby's doing fine. His heart rate dipped for a little bit, but he's back up. Yeah, so we moving. Moving with baby boy. He's got hair, so that's gonna be cool to see. You'll be okay. be able to get He's got a lot of hair, apparently. All right, we'll see y'all later. What time is it? It is 2.41. No, 2.37, sorry. So they broke my water with a, with a water breaking 50, stick. 50 foot <laughs> stick, Jesus. Then they put monitors in my hoo-ha, one on the baby head to monitor what his heartbeat or something. And then one is one another one inside of me. Something like that. To monitor to monitor my contractions. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all ain't got to worry about Kim having no more babies, okay? I'm out the game. <laughs> Not to talk about some. I mean, it was like just like really, really deep, bad period cramps. Okay, it's another one. I must be having a contraction. Woo! Mm.
Come on. You're getting all of this. On camera. That's a, that's a contraction. It feels like a, a period cramp, but like really high up. Maybe. So right now they're monitoring the distance between the contractions. Yeah, you I are just definitely. Had oh, one. I can see it. I can see I it. I just had one. That's what these are. So we must be like two minutes apart because I literally just had one. And we just pressed the little epidural button and it's not working. Let me tell y'all something. It won't be back. One star, very ghetto. So is it going? Childbirth will not be doing it again. <laughs> Is it is it going down now? Yeah. Yeah, you can you can see it on this thing. It just was not like this with River. It just was not. They lied. They lied to me. Huh? Alright, Mama, you got it? Yeah. Uh, I know, that's okay. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and push. Press in and push. All the way to your butt. Go, 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 What's his name? Uh, <laughs> it's the don't ask. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're still working on that. That's okay. Um, there it is. Oh, uh, uh, no curls, no curls, no curls. Yeah. No curls. Look at that foot. There he goes. Oh. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> You're